Hello, thank you for coming back to my channel today. Um, what I'm going to discuss today is going to be on the political side, although I've been kind of talking about politics lately quite a bit and various things, particularly here within the city of Portland. But today the politics are going to be national and it's going to be a, a discussion on what I would call what is happening to the Democratic Party. So when I was growing up as a kid, um, my parents were, were Democrats. I never fully understood how they could be Democrats and hold to some of the views of the Democrats when most of their opinions were very much on the conservative side, uh, especially considering the strict religious household that I grew up in. Um, but putting that aside, I grew up and became definitely more conservative in everything that I believe in from uh, my Christian background and on into politics. And so it's, no surprise, probably, that I'm completely blown away at what the Democratic Party has become. It seems to be a party that wouldn't know the truth if it hit them upside the head. I know we are living in a day of relativism where truth is very much subjective. We've lost the sight that truth is truth. There is no subjectiveness to it. Uh, they seem to be very, the Democrats, that is, seem to be very illogical in their thinkings. So... Today I'm looking at uh, some of the front runners for the Democratic Party and I'm starting to wonder what the world is going on. So we have Elizabeth Warren who lied about her Indian heritage and got employment as a direct result of it, took advantage of it, let's put it that way. And then she's also claimed in a video that she lost her job over being pregnant and a video has been found that counters that viewpoint. So I'm really starting to wonder if this woman would knew the truth if it hit her in the back of the head. It seems like these people are just lying just to try and get themselves someplace and to accomplish something that they want to do. Uh, but, and the Democratic Party also seems to become a party not only of lying, like Elizabeth Sanders, uh, how about Joe Biden, who is definitely lying about the whole reason why he um, did the quid pro quo for protection of a son to get rid of a prosecutor. Um, but let's just not go down that road yet since not all the evidence has come out. This is based off of what we have seen so far. But anyway, let's uh, aside from their lies, like on climate change, the global warming, uh, let's look at some of the other things they're doing. It seems to be these people are trying to outdo who can give the most free stuff. And free stuff means to the rest of us, taxes. That means more than likely higher taxes. So people are gonna end up paying more for taxes in taxes, if not giving a huge mondo chunk of their income greater than what they already are to fund all these freebies these people wanna give. Uh, another thing that's happened is like in New York City where they've passed a law where it's now illegal to say illegal alien and they'll charge you $250,000 potentially for making that statement. Let alone it's a violation of our First Amendment right for free speech. We should be able to walk around and say illegal alien all day long we want to because after all it's our free speech. And so they've become this party of hatred when you look at it, they can't stand conservatives at all. Uh, out on the street, they spit in their faces. They'll throw urine at them. Uh, they'll hit them with sticks. They'll walk up beside, uh, behind them and blindly punch them in the head or in the face. Uh, look at the, what happened to the poor reporter here in Portland who uh, ended up with a bleed in his brain as a direct result of these liberals attacking him. And... So we got this party of hatred, party of attacks, and all they do is continue to spread lies. Uh, and they've forgotten what they've done in their past. And they're trying to push that blame upon the Republicans, all for one reason, to gain control. And so my opinion in what we are seeing in the Democratic Party today is it's all about power grabbing. We will lie, we will say we're going to give the most free stuff, all for the name of getting power. In some ways, this power grabbing has become the new drug for the Democratic Party. And 
I don't know what we can do about it. It's a nightmare. I don't know how we can get across to these people, but it's really a sad state of affairs to see these people who wouldn't know the truth and can't reason logically, and they're trying to get more power in our country. They're trying to gain control and control what we say, control what we can purchase, i.e. in the way of firearms. They really want full control of our lives. Oh yeah, that's socialism. It's all about controlling other people. And they're doing these things, at, like for instance, the uh, supposed hearing on impeachment, uh, the hearing taking place related to the Ukraine. And what they're doing is violating the Constitution right and left, and they don't care. And that is a big problem. It should ring bells for many Americans that these people don't care about the Constitution. And it's the Constitution that has given us this free state, this free country, the freedom to speak freely, the freedom to have a religion we want to have or follow, the freedom to purchase a firearm if we want, uh, the freedom to travel without permission from a government. And they want to make it more into government control, which is greater than what we already have. So I hope people would wake up and see the fact that these people are extremely dishonest and they're crazy. It's absolutely, they're crazy. That's the only way to put it. They're crazy. And it's also sad to see that these people can lie and continue to advance in their careers when some of them need to be in prison for what they've done. And, and, you know, for instance, Hillary Clinton, she's still out free walking around. Uh, still in denial on how she lost the election, still thinks she actually won the election, and she's called President Trump an illegitimate president. But where's the justice? She committed felons. We know that for a fact. She had classified information on her server, as James Comey announced, and yet she's still walking free. It's, it's crazy. So I'm just kind of curious when we're going to see justice, when are we going to see truth, when's truth going to prevail one more time, and when we are we going to become back to a society that actually reasons. Um, so anyway, that's my thoughts for the day. Uh, take care and have yourself a wonderful afternoon, and thank you for watching.